After watching this tutorial, you will be able to easily use titles, images, or even a mix of both to create awesome pixelated thumbnails in Photoshop. So after you created your preferred size for document from the layers panel, go to the adjustments and create a solid color adjustment layer. I'm going to change it to a yellow color like this, pressing OK. Then back to the layers panel and I'm going to delete this layer like this and change this one to background. OK, so why did we do this? You can always change your background color with a simple double click on this thumbnail and easily change the hue to see the different results on your image or text. Now we should create a new transparent layer. So go to the layers panel, active this one, do a single click on plus icon and change its name to main, press enter. And after that, right click and convert it to smart object. Time to add an empty group. So I'm going to do a single click right here. We got our group. I'm going to change its name to effects like this. And after that, I'm going to active my main, drag and drop it just like this. So my main layer is already in effects folder, as you see. Now we have to open our smart object and do some changes. Active the layer, double click on its thumbnail just like this. Make sure that the main layer is activated and also your background color should be completely white. Press and hold control command and backspace like this. Now the next step is completely depends on your purpose guys. If you want to apply this only on a text, press T, take your text layer and do a single click, write your text, press enter, and after that, press Ctrl Command S so it feels safe to our main document, as you see, or it can be your image as I said before. Let's back to our smart object. I'm gonna delete this layer and I'm gonna drag and drop my image right here, which is a combination of everything text, icons, image, and everything, and pressing enter. And after that, press Ctrl Command S. I'm going to close this one. Be back to our main layer. I'm going to zoom out a bit. OK, back to layers panel. Make sure that the smart object is activated. Then from the menu bar, image adjustment, choose black and white. Then press OK. This time go to the filter, blur and choose surface blur. Put the radius to 100 pixels. And for the threshold, I'm going to use 20 levels, pressing OK. Let's add another one. So get back to menu bar, filter, pixelate, and this time choose mosaic. You can decrease or increase the number to get the best result based on your image resolution or your prefer. I'm going for 13 for cell size and pressing OK. All right, get back to the layers panel. I'm going to close the group right there, active the group and from the adjustments, choose threshold and from its properties, I'm going to set 100 for threshold level. Then back to the layers panel, move your cursor between two layers, press and hold alt and do a single click just like this. Go to the adjustments and this time choose levels adjustments. And from the properties panel, change its output to 50. We should use clipping mask again for this one, but I'm not going to do it from layers panel. I'm going to do it from properties with doing a simple click on this icon right here. And as you see, it's already clipped to the effect folder. Go to the adjustments and this time choose brightness contrast adjustments. And from the properties panel, increase brightness to around minus 10 minus 11 and increase contrast to around 60. Now back to the layers panel, active effect folder and change its blending mode from pass through to darken right there. Guys, I have to add some important notes here. After you create this effect and save this one as a PSD file, you don't need to do all the process again for a new photo or text layer. That's why we created this smart object. All you need to do, 
double click on this thumbnail do the changes you want for example i'm gonna hide this one also this one create a new layer and for example i like to brush it like this and after you're done with your changes you have to press Control command plus s on your keyboard and close this one and as you see the changes apply to our main document i'm gonna drag and drop my texture overlay right there guys you can take this overlay textures for completely free from description let's check inside the group so go to the layers panel i'm gonna active texture layer open this the first one blending mode is set to overlay and the second one is set to color burn as you see and as i mentioned you can easily change the background color every time you want to any color you prefer for example this one as you see easily now active the topmost layer press and hold ctrl command alt shift e now press and hold ctrl command alt shift s gonna zoom out choose save and change its name then press save and share it with your friends that's it guys thanks for watching hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you learned something new please do a favor thumbs up and make sure to subscribe for new upcoming videos and i also recommend you to watch this tutorials after this one thanks again and good luck